This is Matt Frain to Boxing. Delighted once again to be joined by the ever happy Chloe Watson. <laughs> Chloe, I've just seen you get put through your paces here. Uh, last time we spoke, I think it was the undercard of Savannah Marshall. How's training been going? How are you feeling? Good, yeah. Um, after the fight, I had a few days off, well, a week off, and then got back straight to it. I actually went on all day, and then um, as soon as I landed in Manchester, I was in the gym that morning, so um, I just couldn't wait to be back out, and here we are. Do you have a good bit of time to refresh and recharge the batteries? I think you just mentioned off camera you went to Turkey. Did you enjoy that sort of time off and that time to relax where you don't have to maybe watch what you eat as much and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah, definitely. But, I mean, I think all boxers will say it does get boring after a while. Um, eventually, like, you get to the stage where you feel a bit sick and you just want to get back in the ring, like, well, want to get back in the gym. Um, so they get to that point. But... Yeah, I had a good time on holiday and obviously I do like to like venture out and do like yeah. adventurous stuff and things like that. So mm -hmm. I got that all out in the holiday and then I was straight back to it. So last time out, Jamiro Egg, you put on a brilliant performance. I think you were, were you the floater? I see, <laughs> no pun intended, on that card. you were. I think you were supposed to be going in where there was a, a gap in the card and you went on after the main event. How did you find the event? You put on a great performance after all the commotion with Shields and Marshall. Um, what did you make of your performance? Um, good, yeah. I watched it back. To be honest, it was all a bit of a blur because of how much I just wanted to get in there. Um, you would have seen me in, in the changing room before and I was just so eager to get in there and, and show everyone what I was about. And it was a bit unfortunate that it was after the the main event because I, I was I was excited to show everyone, you know, obviously all my family and friends and supporters all stayed stayed about to watch, but there's actually a few people who came to watch me and thought they'd missed me beforehand. They thought I'd been on a bit earlier, so actually didn't get the chance to see me, which wasn't great, but um, but they'll be in Liverpool anyway supporting me on my next fight, so that'll be exciting and that's what I'm looking forward to. But yeah, um, after my fight, you know, watching it back, reflecting on it, it was a good performance and, and yeah. Yeah. What was what's that like when you're in that position on a card where you're not sure when you're going to come out? Because I imagine, like boxers routine, you get your hand wraps, warm up, hit the pads, and you know within like sort of half hour to an hour, look, we'll be doing the ring walk this time. What's it like having that waiting period? Does your anxiety go further and just think, get me out of here now? Let's just crack on. Well, it was a first for me. Obviously, I've never really been put in that position before, so um, I just kind of took it how I took it. Um, if it was to happen again. I'd probably just be a bit more relaxed and just, you know, I'm going to get in there that night, whether it's before 12 or after 12. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get the chance to get in there and do the biz. But, um, yeah, it, it was all right. It was one of them. I just had to take it as it came because I've never really been around someone, like, in a changing room when that's happened to them. Um, and I've never, like, experienced it myself. But that's when it was really great to have, like, the likes of Ricky um, around yeah. because he was saying, you know, he's been there, he's done it. He was like, calm down, like, you'll be in there and stuff like that. And really kept me calm throughout. So, um, yeah, that was great. Does it help having him around? Because I can imagine him being in a changing room, just that cracking jokes, trying to keep your, like, sort of mind off it. Or what, what's it like in that in that moment where you're just sort of, you're waiting about? Does he keep you sort of... You know, keep you mentally <coughs> mentally happy. <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, there was a lot going on anyway because um, Brad was fighting too, so yeah, yeah. Um, that was good. It was good to be like in the mix with all that. So um, it was more about just, you know, we've done the training and now was the time to get it done and just chill out. And when it's your time, it's your time. You're next back out in your home city of Liverpool. You must be absolutely buzzing to yeah. be performing there. Um, um, is it a bit more, do you feel a bit more pressure to perform there because you, you're in Liverpool or is it just. Is it just the same, you know, always, obviously, obviously always try to do your best, but do you feel that sort of, you know, a lot of friends, a lot of family come in, got to perform? No, not really, because I feel like, um, yeah, that's what I love about it. Like, when people come together and they see all, like, my family and friends, like, all together and celebrating, yeah. it's kind of what pushes me towards, like, what I'm doing. So, if anything, I think it will motivate me a little bit more. And mm -hmm. when it comes to the day, obviously, I do just have to remember, like, it is just... It's a, it's a fight, um, no matter where it is, no matter where the ring is. It's just that extra bonus that, you know, all my friends, family, supporters and everyone who wants to get down and watch it can come and watch it. And look at me, like I'm smiling now saying yeah. it because, um, you know, it's great for me as a fighter to to, to know that, like, I'm, I'm going to be boxing in my home city and everyone that wants to come can come and get behind yeah. me. Liverpool's a passionate city as well, so I'm sure there'll be a lot of noise in there for you on that night. Um, I want to get your opinion, obviously, Savannah Marshall, Clarissa Shields are going back and forth on Twitter. Um, Clarissa sort of set the date as, look, you need to sign this contract for September, but I want to talk about the fight itself. What's your opinion, what's your take on that fight, and how do you see that ma mapping out? 
Um, I like both fighters. I um, think they've got two very different styles. And I said to you the last time, I think that's what makes the fight very exciting. And uh, I do think Savannah's just she's just flying at the moment. Obviously, you have seen her last performance, and um, she's a hard hitter, and you know anything can happen in that type of fights. But I think I think Savannah, I think Savannah will do it. And just before we go, um, you mentioned to me in the last interview, you and your nan go on these wild, bat batshit crazy adventures. So, have you done anything? Has there been any more suggestions? Have you been skydiving off of like a thousand feet cliffs? What have, what have, you, been, what have you been doing? No, no, we haven't done the tough mud yet. Um, I'm going to go out to Spain and see her after my next fight. So, I'm sure there'll be some um, there'll be some stories to tell after that. But for now, really, I've just been training. And um, yeah, she's been on at me best be coming to Spain after your fight and she wants to look after me there and show me off to all their friends so um so I'll definitely be going there after my fight for some downtime you know and I'll have, I'll have some good stories to tell. Brilliant well Chloe we'll catch up in Liverpool fight week we'll be there for that and yeah thanks for talking to Into Boxing appreciate it. Thank you.